free space optical communications have the potential to provide much faster, more accessible internet access for everybody, as well as increased security for defense communications. Hi everybody, I'm Corey. And I'm Kyle. And today we'll be talking about free space optical communications, commonly abbreviated as FSO. So FSO involves transmitting information through the air using laser beams. An FSO can involve transmitting information from a satellite to a receiver on the ground, one satellite to another satellite, or maybe one transmitter on the ground to another receiver on the ground. Yeah, FSO communications enable fast, reliable internet to locations that are a little bit more inaccessible. Additionally, the bandwidth for FSO communications is about 10 to 100 times wider than standard radio frequency RF communications and their uh, FSO communications also require a lot less power input as well. One other thing is that the uh, costs associated with setting up ground-based stations for FSO communications are also significantly reduced and this is because you know the alternative technology is really laying optical fibers down and that requires a significant amount of digging uh, and, and laying, running these cables. And in addition to providing broader bandwidth and more accessible internet access, FSO communications are also very applicable for the defense space. In that situation, security is of key importance and it's much more difficult to intercept and decipher FSO communications. Their line of sight, meaning you're transmitting this laser beam, you have to be directly in the propagation path to get that signal. Mm -hmm. You would need a matching FSO receiver in order to intercept it. You can't intercept it using a spectrum analyzer or RF meter. And then the receivers used for defense communications can be mobile and easy to transport when in use. Yeah, the receivers for FSO communications, um, they have to be really sensitive devices. Uh, and this is because the outgoing to incoming signal ratio is very, very high. Additionally, the um, pointing accuracy of the devices needs to be high, uh, needs to be very large as well because of the narrow beam divergence of laser-based communications. And then finally, a tight mechanical tolerancing is always good because um, that helps prevent roll and decenter in these laser optic assemblies as well. And that's all that we have today. Thank you so much for joining and you can learn more on our website. Thanks.